This screen capture video shows some of the tools available for analysis in our online games. First, I'm going to log in. I'm going to go to my history. I'm going to find the game that I want to analyze. So here's one that uh, my partner and I, we were 52%. They were 47.8%. Not bad. So let's take a look at some of the hands that we had a poor score on and determine if we could have played it better. Here's one, board seven, where our opponents bid to six hearts using this auction. And they made it, and we got a poor score. Now, if we're curious how other tables played that hand, you can see that the vast majority of the pairs that played this hand did not play in six hearts, but they played it in four hearts or even three no trump. But none of them are going to have the kind of score that the five people, five pairs that bid the slam. So bad luck on our part, not much we can do. So back to my table here. Let's look at another board uh, where we had a poor score. Here's one. Um, board 13, two, no tr two spades is the contract with this auction. We had a 26% board. Now on this one, let's look and see what the double dummy opportunities were by clicking on our bridge solver extension in Chrome. And it will bring up double dummy for declare and defenders. And you can see that they can actually make four spades. No one did this. There's only 21 points. And I'm going to show you in a minute how you can make that. But over a two spade bid, you could argue that we should have balanced to three hearts. And that would have been a better result than letting them make two plus spades. So how could they possibly make four spades? Well, let's assume that the declarer would be north. And this shows the lead opportunities by east. And as you can see, every single one of the card options is colored green, which means his lead really doesn't make any difference. This is a little bit unusual, but we're only going to take three tricks east-west, regardless of what they lead. So if you had these cards, you probably would elect to do something like lead a 10 of diamonds. Now, dummy um, makes no difference what they play, as it turns out. But looking at the Clara's hand, he's likely to play the six. And now over to West, it makes no difference what they play. But I suspect most people would play the Jack. And the double dummy analysis tells us here that they should play the King. Now, North has the lead and we start seeing some variances here. We want to make four spades. If we make any of these leads shaded in yellow, we're only going to make two. So that's why most people only made two, because they didn't choose one of these leads, I suspect. So it really doesn't make much difference uh, what we lead, but let's start off by leading the two. They have to play the singleton. We capture a singleton king low. Now the number of options are starting to reduce for north-south. And you can see any of these cards would be good. So let's just assume that you play the three. This person makes no difference what they play. So let's assume they duck the tree trick. That might be clever. Then North can take it with the 10. Now 
we're down to many fewer options. North leads the four of hearts. Makes no difference here. I would say a lot of people are going to duck this. Makes no difference here. And so on. So if you follow the green options, the yellow brick road, as Dorothy of Oz would say, you'll see how you can make four, even though not a single declarer made four. Here's one that bid three, went down one. And that's a good example of double dummy. It is a, it often is a result that cannot be achieved practically at the table because it defies the odds. So it doesn't mean it's bad bridge that you didn't make for, but sometimes you get lucky and you find the right line of play. So you get the idea. I think online games are a fabulous way to improve your bridge. You can work with your partner on partnership agreements. You can do it individually to strengthen your declare play. And you can do all of this easily and quickly with the tools that are provided through the virtual game online. So here's how you install Bridge Solver on your Chrome browser. First go to the Chrome extension store. You can do that by Googling. Once you get to the Chrome Web Store, you type in Bridge Solver. It appears in the found list. You click on that. This is the one I want. Bridge Solver. I communicated with this fella the other day. He lives in London. And you add to Chrome. You'll get a confirmation window. You add the extension. Another confirmation window that it has been added. And you can see this icon, the spade icon in the top right of your, of your browser. When you have highlighted the focus of your browser with this arrow on a bridge hand, it will turn bright green and you'll know you can do a double dummy analysis. So I hope you enjoy that tool. Thanks. So in summary, it's pretty simple to install the Bridge Solver extension by going to the Chrome Web Store searching for the name of the extension, following the directions, and installing it. We'll have a short clickable link on our website so you won't have to listen to this entire thing again. So thank you very much for watching the tutorial. I can't say see you at the tables anymore, but I look forward to seeing you at our online games. Thank you.